Um, this is not a review as such. It's a rant. People have asked me to do some rants, and uh, I'm going to do one. And, uh, oh, apologise for that. I'll spill some on the tablecloth. And um, this rant, or a moan, or observation, is uh, about... I went Morrison's the other day, and um, I was looking at the fruit and veg. As you can see, I'm still a healthy lad, and I like my fruit, and I like my veg. And I heard this beep, 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 and I thought, oh, Morrison's have got some kind of uh, cleaning the floor device out, or a forklift might have been in there, you know, like a, a pedestrian forklift, and uh, might have been using that. So I was expecting the area to be uh, taped off, or, you know, when they put these silly, bloody, pointy um, signs upon the floor saying wet floor, which are more of a trip hazard than the actual water, because you don't see them, and you fall over them, and you, that's it. And um, anyway, I sort of heard this beeping, beeping, beeping. Didn't think any more of it. And then anyway, um, heard it again. And uh, still didn't think anything else of it. And then I heard it again. I thought, what the bloody hell is that? So you, your curiosity gets the better of you. And I uh, turned around, and it was some, uh, some bloke in a uh, mobility scooter. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not against mobility scooters as such. Um, this one this bloke was in, it was, it was in a, uh, it was like a bloody Range Rover to be fair, it was massive, it was huge, it was absolutely massive, he may as well have just drove a Range Rover or a Freelander into Morrison's and used that to go shopping in, it was huge, it, the wheels were like massive, the, they must have been, you know, a good foot and a half these wheels and, and then it had these massive mirrors that stuck out either side that he didn't use, that he, he didn't really use to look if anybody was behind him. And, um, you know, the, these mirrors may as well have been on a Lambretta in the 60s, driving down to, uh, to Brighton, from London to Brighton, for a fight-up with the, the, the uh, Rockers. Because that's what it were. He got his thin, that thing, massive basket on the front, a bloody great huge headlight. And uh, he was reversing up and going back and forth. He was trying to get down this aisle. And uh, anyway, then he got in, and like, this truck's that wide, this mobility scooter's that wide, you couldn't get two bloody trolleys down there. You know, you could pass, like, people go down one side, and, you know, law of, the unwritten law of shopping is that you have, you know, you, you go to one side, a bit like a road. So anyway, he got round there eventually, and uh, uh, then he disappeared and did what he was going to do, and I, I come out at the end of the aisle, a bit later on, a bit for a few aisles there, and he come flying down the shop, absolutely bombing it. You know, it, what, these I thought these were like mobility scooters were to to help people get out, which is brilliant, right? Because it saves people from sitting at home uh, watching Jeremy Kyle in the morning, turning over for homes in the ha under the hammer, then making a life down under, and then watching it all again on ITV Plus One or ITV Three, watching. Agatha Christie or Poirot, Poirot. So it gets them out, it gets them to these, um, the coffee meetings and all that kind of thing. But what, what's getting on my nerves is that they, they, they just, these mobility scooters, people are just having them all over the place. And like I've said, it's good, it gets them out of the house. It helps them still uh, be independent, which is brilliant. But I'm thinking, surely there should be some kind of uh, a test to make sure that you can, you can operate one of these things because they're quite, they're quite nippy and they're quite big and cumbersome and, the, you know, the, and it doesn't seem, I don't know, do they have insurance? Do they have insurance if they actually run somebody over or c cause some damage to a car or knock a load of tin of baked beans down or, you know, actually injure somebody? Do they have insurance? So I'm just thinking, before you get one of these things, right, you should have a test or some kind of training, and you should have in some kind of insurance. Now, I'm not saying massive insurance, but I think you should have some insurance, because a few months, well, quite a while ago, I was in Boots, and I was looking at uh, shaving foam or something like that, and um, that was before I started using these razors that I used in a previous um, review. And anyway, I'm standing there, and I'm just looking there, minding my own business, not doing anything. Also, this bloody woman reverses over my foot. 
And I, she looked, turns around and looks at me. She goes, I'm disabled. I'm in a scooter, you know. And I says, I know you are. You've just run over my bloody foot. And she just like pulls off without apology or nothing. And I'm thinking, what have I done? What have I done here? Where I've got, where have I now to be allowed to be run over just by going through my own daily routine or whatever? I'm just doing one shopping in boots. Unbelievable. So, and, and also you hear these things there where uh, people in uh, mobility scooters end up going down the motorway. What, what, how the hell do you get down a motorway in a mobility scooter? Are you, are you that out of your head that you can't, you don't know where you're going and you end up going down the M M56 or you're on the M25? What the bloody hell's going off? It's just ridiculous. And they drive down the road and they just, on the road, and they've got no care of due or consideration. They seem to think that, um, not all of them, let's get this right, not all of them, but most do seem to think they just can go anywhere they like. And they nip along and they just fly along these things in the massive. So this is my rant for today or for the week or whatever it is, how many times I do a rant. People in mobility scooters, should they one, have insurance? Should they two, have a speed limit on the damn things? So if you go in around Morrison's, you, you set it, you set it at two mile an hour. The walking speed of walking around Morrison's, Tesco's, Asda, cost cutters, the coupe. Do you think not? Do, do you people agree with me? Do you, you know, I mean, so insurance, speed limits, training. I don't know, just the ability to have one. Because poor old Harold, if he's coffee morning or bingo's like 10 mile away and his car is the only way he can get there. If he's not fit to drive, eyesight, hearing, or the ability to drive the car, you take his license off him. Or hete, let's be fair, you know, both sexes. They take the license off them, whether they want to go to bingo or coffee mornings or whatever. And this should apply to people in these mobility scooters. You can't just have anybody getting one of these scooters and doing what they do. They're a bloody weapon in the wrong hands. They can hurt. You only need to be pulling out onto the road without looking. And you don't cross the road. Well, some people do cross the road without looking, don't they? Let's be honest. So that's my rant of the day, folks. That's my rant. People, mobility scooters, fine. You've got to have the ability to drive one. Laders.